Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you adding and removing time in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to add or remove some time from the arrangement. Let's hear it now. So let's say we want to get to the verse a bit quicker. And we could see I already have a marker for my intro and my verse and some tempo and time signature markers as well in each section. So I want to keep those intact when we remove or insert any time. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here and turn on the grid and snapping. This way, if we create a time selection, it'll be perfectly on the grid. Then I'm going to create a time selection based on the bars I want to remove. I'll go from bar five to bar seven. And we're going to remove these two bars and get to the verse quicker. So we'll right click up here in the ruler and choose remove contents of selection, moving later items earlier. Choose it. And just like that, it removed those two bars and also moved our markers for the verse and the tempo and time signature. So it perfectly cut the section we needed to. Let's hear it now. Perfect. We cut out two bars perfectly, left everything else in our project intact. So now let's do the opposite. Let's insert two bars into our project. We'll start where we want to insert time. Let's go to bar five and choose the length we want to insert. So if we just wanted to add one bar, we would select just one bar. But in this situation, let's add two bars like this. And now we could right click up here. And this time we'll choose insert empty space in selection. And this is going to add exactly two bars from the start of our time selection. Choose it. And it added in those two bars. And it also moved our marker, verse one, along with the tempo and time signature marker with it. So again, it kept our project completely intact while adding that time, in this situation, two bars. But it also added a tempo marker right here based on the tempo from over here. So we don't really need that. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to delete it. And now for this project, I could just trim this out to put it back the way it was before. Perfect. There's one other thing I want to show you. If you notice, I'm starting this song on bar three just to leave two bars of intro in case I wanted to add a pickup or give some room to start the render earlier. But typically, we want the song to start on bar one. We could do that by rearranging our bar numbers. Let's put our cursor at bar three and go up here to this button to open up the project settings. And we can go over here to the first tab and change the project start measure to a different number. Instead of starting it on bar one with our music starting on bar three, we could change this to anything we want, even a negative number. So let's change it to minus one, hit OK. And now our song starts on bar one, right here. making it easier to see how many bars are in the song and just make things make more sense. So when we go to bar three, it's really bar three in the song. Now we could also adjust it based on minutes and seconds. Put the cursor back to one. Let's say we change this to minutes and seconds. Notice the song starts at four seconds. 
if we wanted to start exactly at zero, put our cursor right here at the start, go to the project settings, and choose the option over here, project start time, and click this button, which changes the zero to where our cursor currently is. So it made it negative. So now, right at bar one, or the start of our song is now zero. So it's starting at zero and also exactly at bar one, making it more useful for the content we're creating. So that's pretty much it. That's adding and removing time in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!